What's up everybody, how's it going? Today we are playing Dota 2 But Tomes. As a mode we've actually played quite a bit of on stream already. This mode is pretty fun, so how does it work? Well, you can't get experience from anything other than hero kills and tomes. Tomes are um, just in the in the shop, they are 322 gold, they give you 322 experience and they give you an additional 16 experience for every tome that's already been used. So it's really all about like uh, snowballing. The power of the tomes right like you buy more tomes and that way your team you know becomes more powerful and uh yeah now we're gonna be spending all of our money on tomes and that's why i'm playing lycan by the way so it may seem like for this mode you want to get a hero like a medusa right like a hero that's got a really scary level 25 talent that just oh wow that's five heroes well we gotta go uh, you know, a hero that has got a really, really scary level 25 talent, something that's just absolutely terrifying, right? And then you get to level 25 really quickly and you just start slaughtering people. Well, here's the thing, though. Uh, you do get to level 25 pretty damn quickly in this mode, but only if you spend all of your money on the tomes. Meaning, what ends up happening is you get all of the, uh, all of the tomes, right? You get to level 25 and you have no item. And you might be like, Obama's bad at English and he said no, I no item instead of no items. No, I mean no item. You have nothing. It's pretty common. Right? Like, I've played, again, quite a few games of this now where um, you just end up with not a single item. Just, just, <laughs> your inventory is just blank and tomes. And honestly, that's a pretty good strat for this, right? Because you just want to level up as much as you can. Right, you want to use these tomes, you can get a lot of value out of that. Alright, we got ourselves a kill. Gotta be careful of Akimo here. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and fall back and heal up really quick. And uh, buy a tome. So we're gonna be buying a bunch of tomes. And I picked Lycan because, like, this, this again, a few reasons. First one, Lycan is a great hero just with levels. He doesn't really need any items, right? Secondly, he can actually farm with just levels. Third, he's actually got a pretty significant level 25 talent. The plus 3 wolf summon doesn't seem that strong, but it's actually pretty nasty. Like, it's actually a pretty strong one. Especially if your opponent doesn't have any items. Because, again, nobody's gonna have any items. Unless there's some wiener, which is gonna run around and just get to, like, level 6 or something like that, then start buying items, which is definitely a possibility. There's always that wiener. It's probably gonna be Archimo, because Archimo is all about being the maximum... Maximum wiener possible. Right? Like, that's just... That's just the Alchemo lifestyle. Right? Maximize the wiener them. Anyway. Got a, had a pretty annoying day today. Well, okay, so that sounds bad. So, it's actually been a pretty good day. Right? There was just, like, one significant annoying part, which was that the electricity died for, like, five hours. Like, pretty long time. Like, I got up, I did a little bit of work, I went to the gym, I came home at like, when was it, like 12 or so? Right, that's when I was back home. And it, 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 the electricity was down right up until the point that I started streaming, pretty much. So at about 4. <laughs> electricity has just been, just been dead. Now, this is something that happens incredibly rarely, right? Like, I've been living here for like 5 years, and I think in the entirety of that, the electricity has only been down twice, including today. Um, and the other, ta other time was scheduled. Like, they were like, yeah, there will be some maintenance work on the electricity line on this, like, at this time, and they warned us and all of that stuff, right? So I don't really count that one. That one, to me, is like, fine, okay, cool. I mean, you, you did you did tell us that was going to happen, right? Um, so that's, that's cool with me. But, yeah, uh, still a little bit annoying. Don't really know what happened, but they ended up fixing it, so... I guess we're good. I guess we're good. Yes. Alright, we got ourselves another Tome of Knowledge coming in. So, that should put us to a reasonable level, right? We're level 3. Um, Lycan is also nice just because I don't really need to spend as much money on, um, you know, like, healing items or anything like that. Just because, uh, you know, we've got that passive healing us up a lot. So, that's good. Right? I don't know, I just think Lycan is pretty good for this. <laughs> Again, we've actually played quite a few matches of this. We spent uh, quite a while just kind of grinding away in this mode. 
But it's fun. I would actually recommend giving this one a try. It's, it's very enjoyable. We're not getting this. This is a bad idea. You're gonna get beaten up. Uh, but yeah. I've been, up, been a pretty good day. I've been making... So I... <laughs> Still working on the card game. Don't worry, I'm also working on Spark stuff. It's just sometimes the Spark stuff isn't really flowing as nicely because that's really hard. Right now, I'm just at a very difficult point at this point, like like right now at this point in time, right? And uh, sometimes I I'm just like, all right, I need a little bit of a mental breather from this nonsense. So um, I've been kind of working away at the card game a little bit. And I'm actually really excited because, like, I'm about to, like, upload a really, really big, massive new patch for it. In case you're wondering, by the way, I'm not talking about Disastrous. I'm talking about Sporky Stone Gathering, which is my current, like, new card game idea that is still very much work in progress and not ready to be seen by anybody. Right? Like, that's just not ready to be seen by the public in any sort of capacity. But, uh, I don't know. I'm just having fun working on it. Okay. You may not have much now, but as things progress, you will get more and more. Yeah, like, the thing about this design stuff, it's really kind of, like, from my experience, it's very... You kind of start... You just, just, okay, so here's here's how it often goes for me, right? I, I, I sit in front of a problem and I'm just like, Argh! you know? Like, Argh! and I just kind of, like, kind of bang my head against it for, like, two weeks. And I feel like I got nothing done, right? I've written down maybe, like, two pages in a Google Doc. Right? And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, oh, and then it just makes sense. Right? And it just starts making sense and everything falls into place and um, and it's it's just, and then it starts flowing like crazy. Right? So, you know, <laughs> it's just how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah, Sporky Stone, The Gathering, which work in progress title, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, it's just kind of like been been working a little bit of a patch for that. And I wanted to finish that this morning. And then the fucking electricity broke. So now I need to finish it tonight. I mean, I'm still going to finish it tonight, but it's still really irritating. Oh, and uh, kind of completely unrelated, but really, really good news. Um, Mickey got the results for her German exam and she passed it flawlessly. Like, just perfect grades across the board. I never really thought it was going to be any different, right? So, we good. But that's good. Alright. Uh can you can you can you not? This this may be a problem. Oh what are you doing here? <laughs> I thought I'm like three D Mega chess, like, juking this nerd, and he's just still in the jungle. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Oh, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I just watched two hours of your secure stream on YouTube, you're getting screwed. Dude, I... Okay, so what I did is, after the Sekiro stream, I wasn't too happy with how I played there, right? And mostly not because I felt like the game was too hard for me, right? But instead, I just felt like I was playing, I was trying to play Dark Souls. I just, you gotta keep in mind, I've played like probably a thousand hours combined of Dark Souls. Like, I don't even like Dark Souls 2 and I have like a hundred hours in it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think Dark Souls 2 is kind of shit, and I've played it for, like, I've I've completed the game, like, three or four times, I don't even remember, right? So, I've just kind of got the Dark Souls controls, like, ingrained into me, and it, every time I pick up a game, I had the same problem with, with Monster Hunter World, I just start trying to play Dark Souls, and um, that doesn't always work. So, I, um, this time around, what I did is, after the stream was over, I just sat down and I practiced. Right? Like, it sounds kind of lame, but that's what I did. I just played Sekiro. I played all of the, like, early sections we did. Um, again, like, I repeated them all, just kind of in an attempt to get more used to things. 
I went and I um, did all of the like practice things you can do against the NPC and just played that. I played the free practice combat mode like a bunch. And now I can really actually like without any sort of doubt in my head. Um, or, like really funny sort of doubt in my mind. Very, pro very much properly control my character and play the game. And I feel pretty good about that. Armor or damage? I mean, five armor is a lot of armor. But wolves need no armor. But yeah, that's... So, um... Next time we play Sekiro, right, I'm not gonna get all of these controls wrong again. Right, because, like, again, I'm usually pretty good at these games. It's just I kept screwing up my buttons. And that really bothered me. So now I uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing that anymore. And uh, yeah, so pretty pretty optimistic about that. Looking forward to playing some more as well. And I didn't continue on with any of the story or any of the like kind of like main campaign, right? All I did is play the, um, the kind of like tutorial fighting, uh, like the tutorial enemy. And I just replayed all of the sections that we did before. I found some secrets. Like, I'm pretty sure I found every secret that you can find in those previous sections. Because, again, I just, like, ran through them all again. Okay. Uh, let's get ourselves boots, and let's get ourselves some Vladimir's. Like, I'm actually gonna buy just a little bit in terms of items. It's uh, very much a good idea to just get a tad bit of stuff. Mostly because otherwise the weenus will overwhelm you, and we don't want that. Alright? That would be... That would just... Nobody wants that. Nobody wants to be overwhelmed by the Wieners. Except for maybe the Wieners. Maybe the Wieners do, but... We don't. Alright? Alright, come here. Go get him, wolf! That does nothing. <laughs> but we have a lot of region. Which means we are fine. And level 11, I think, is a very good level to be at. Right? We can be very happy about level 11. That just kind of feels good. That feels nice. We've got some, we've got some good stats. We've got our abilities all at a point where they are nice and strong. And, uh, yeah. Let's go and do this. Ah. <sighs> So yeah, it's been kind of like a, a good day, but an annoying day today. It's mostly just been the, the, the electricity dying. That's been the annoying part. <laughs> that's been the annoying part, but that's okay. okay. What is going to be the next game night? So this first day we're doing PUBG. And um, the following I'm hoping for Fortnite. That's uh, that's what I'm hoping we're gonna do on the on next first day. Okay, I'll go ahead and start. Uh, I'll just keep beating these nerds up. Okay, Archimo, <laughs> level seven. Look at that wiener. Okay. Mask of Madness. Boots. Admittedly, I, don't, I, I am kind of like in a very similar state. <laughs> oh, man. But I am a higher level. And that's really how you show how good you are at this game mode. It's all about having that high level. It's all about that. By the way, really quick, about the card game, about Sporky Stone the Gathering, right? So, Sp <laughs> by the way, why is it called Sporky Stone the Gathering? Um, because it's clearly in absolutely no way inspired by Magic and Hearthstone. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> uh, no, but uh, what I'm really happy about with that game right now is... 
I am starting to really have a good understanding of what I want from every aspect of the game. Right? I w I'm really like getting to a point where it's just like, okay, I know where each each of these elements is going, what each of these elements should be, and that just feels really, really good. Alright, and something that I'm pretty, pretty damn happy about. Because that's always the difficult part. Right? Like, once you actually have all of your stuff, the actual design work is easy. Right? Like, it's it's the difficult part is figuring out what should be part of the design. That That's the tricky part. Alright? Because if you don't know what should be in it, then you're just gonna add in a bunch of shit that shouldn't be in it. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go in here. And, uh, just kind of start grinding away at this tower, I guess. I mean, we do quite a bit of damage. Alright, disengage, boys. Disengage. Uh, we're going back to farming tomes now. I mean, naturally. Tomes used by Team 57, damn. <laughs> That's a lot of tomes. Ah, uh, this is really annoying because, like... You know, Lycan doesn't do that well against Luna. Because my walls are just gonna get killed. Aw, fuck off, Valkymo. I'm farming here. I, I left you to farm. You should let me farm. Rude. I'm farming too. I, I, if you do that again, I'm gonna just kill you. And now don't think I can't kill you, because I can kill you. I very much can. <laughs> Don't underestimate what a lichen can do. Okay. Hey, Charlie, how are you doing? Is it gonna have colors or elements? I really don't want to talk too much about the game. Um, but I guess what I can say is basically there is a sort of color system in there. And by sort of, I mean it is a color system, but it doesn't work like it does in Magic. And when I say it doesn't work like it does in Magic, then I really mean it kind of does, but it also kind of doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> it's a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. <laughs> oh, man. Let's get ourselves this bad boy. Wow, that cleared it up. Th thank you. I'm, I'm so glad I am. Uh, able to provide you with all of this fantastic insight. I think I'm gonna start pushing. Problem is they keep defending this bottom tower, which is really annoying. But I think I want to actually... Oh, this Razor is level 15. Ah! I was about to go for that, man. Might be best that I didn't, but... Oh, Kimo. Again, as always. We do have a level 22 Tusk here. Look at that. That's so funny. He's got an iron branch. But he's level 22. <laughs> hey, Frozen Winter Moth or Watermelon. By the way, I don't think Hand of Midas is very good in this. Um, I've seen quite a few people suggest Hand of Midas and like buy Hand of Midas and such. So Hand of Midas gives you 400 gold. So it's more powerful than it is in regular Dota. But it also gives you no experience. Just, just none. Zero. And that kind of makes it... Significantly worse in my book. Alright, we're definitely going for this. Nice. Cool thing is, because they are a higher level than me, I'm getting a lot of experience. Alright, in the meantime, I'm just kind of grinding up my tomes. <laughs> Nobody can tell me I'm not buying enough tomes in this game. Tusk already level 25, let's go. What talent? 12% chance, of course. Of course. Not necessarily the better talent, but definitely the more fun talent. Oh, man. Okay, let's get this tower. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Rude. I'm just gonna run. And you don't have boots, so... It's level 19, though. Well, I mean, that's fine with me. That, that worked out great. <laughs> I am invincible. I have the ancient technique 
of buying a 500 gold item. <laughs> Well, you're max low. All right, all right. I think it's time I get myself my tomes. All right. I mean, at this stage, they should be pretty damn powerful. What do you guys think? Where do you think the to uh, the tomes are gonna get us? What level are we gonna be? We've got eleven of them. I think we're gonna be at least level twenty. Oh, we're level twenty-five. All right, cool. Cool. That is actually much more than I thought it was going to be. So, I don't think I'm going very much shapeshift based. I'm going to go and go for everything that buffs up my wolves in some sort of way. Like, it's all about the wolves for me. All right, let's get ourselves a Helm of the Dominant. Oh, yes! <laughs> Who's ready to push, boys? I got some wolves. <laughs> oh, that is so sick. That is so sick. <laughs> Oh, man. Look at that tower! Holy hell. These boys just go nuts. These boys just go absolutely nuts. Okay. Go get him, go get him. I guess we're not getting that. Alright, get the tower. <laughs> Melted, boys! Oh, I love my wolves. All right, go get him. Go get him. Go get him, wolves. <gasps> They're not going to get him. They tried. They got pretty close, honestly. Like I'm I'm still I'm proud of you, my boys. All right, another howl. Let's go. Get this tower. All right, tower down. <laughs> Oh my god, the multicast TP out, TP out one time. Oh man, so close. Oh, well, we're dead forever. Yeah, that's definitely, um, yeah, it's definitely part of this game mode. You know, you get to level 25 and then you die and you're just dead. <laughs> also, those big duels. Look at that, 176 bonus damage from them. Slark is level 25 as well. See, this is what I meant, right? This guy's got boots, <laughs> slippers of agility, and an iron branch. <laughs> Lishi Kamala at least has a little bit more, but she has also spent a bit more time farming. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. You should have just happened in time menu section, main menu front and center, but in Spork. That would be funny. That would be funny. <laughs> oh man. As if I wasn't slippery enough already. Okay, okay. Well, um Yeah, we're just gonna go out and continue grinding here, honestly. Alright, I mean we've got a tower down. I think it's time to keep pushing. In terms of items, I, I just think a soul cross gotta be next, right? Or do we go for um Necrobook? No, I think a soul cross is better. And I wanna get just a casual blightstone. Honestly, just a little bit of armor reduction on these buildings? Hell yeah. Keep forgetting it's actually called Spark. Spark is so much catchier. I like the name Spark. You know? I think, honestly, the, the, the name Spark is, is just a really good name for the game. Like, even after all this time, you know, I never I never felt like I regretted choosing the name Spark. That just seemed... That's just a good, good choice, honestly, in my book. Sounds good. Sounds like a game. All right. Kind of sounds unique. It's nice and simple. It's memeable. All right. Do this. We're gonna just keep pushing here, honestly. God damn it. We got cleave down hard. Do we get the tower? 18 HP. Well, I guess we kind of did. <laughs> 
I guess we did. I guess we did. And they are all wolves again. I really like these five wolves. You know, it's kind of crazy how much damage I'll put this is. Because, like, two wolves aren't that insane. Right? I mean, like, the two Lycan wolves are pretty strong in the early game, for sure. They're kind of decent while pushing towers. But I feel like, outside of that, they never really, like, super stand out. Right? They just kind of feel, like, they feel nice, they feel good, but they don't feel like they are the, the MVPs, right? And then you get yourself, like, five of them, and all of a sudden, you're just slaughtering things, like... <laughs> it's just crazy. I mean, I guess it shows how delicate of a balance you really need to meet there. Your bottom tower is under attack. Right? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Wolves always up here, what you're talking about? I don't know. I don't know. They just seem so crazy once you actually have. Oh, you're already going for a soul cross. Alright, then I'll just get a necrobook. It just feels so crazy once you actually get, you know, five of them. Okay. Go ahead and get ourselves that necrobook going on. I mean, to be honest, it's probably the better choice anyway. Because, like, necrobook is really nice and powerful. <clears throat> Hey, Bon, what's your opinion on game design Heroes of the Storm? Oh, man, I have a lot of opinions on Heroes of the Storm. I think Heroes of the Storm is easily the most innovative and um, important MOBA that came out um, ever since, since Warcraft 3, right? Like, it's just not even close. I think it's more important than Dota 2 or, or League of Legends or any of that stuff. Um... That doesn't mean it's the best game. It is not. <laughs> not by a long shot. It's pretty, pretty mediocre at best and kind of shit at worst. Um, it can be pretty fun, but it has some very significant flaws. But the thing about Heroes of the Storm, and this is something I really appreciate about the game, is that those guys actually took some risks when making their game, right? Now, those didn't all work out, but the cool thing is, and this is why I think the game is so important, is that we can now look at the risks Heroes of the Storm took and learn from them, right? That's the great thing. Uh, God, I cannot fight into this man. He's got Battle Fury too. There's a problem. I need to dodge this man. I need to dodge this man, kind of like kite around him. Yeah, no, we'll see. We kind of, I, th I think we want to be applying a bit more pressure here. Wish I had my Necrobook level 3. I think level 3 and Necrobook will go a really long way. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. As always. <laughs> we Gucci. Oh wow, they're all dead. Forever. They might have buyback. Buyback is really cheap. Unless they spend all of it on Tom's. In which case, they don't have buyback. We're just gonna win really quick. <laughs> oh my god. That was a little bit nutty, though. Oh my god, look at all these wolves! Dude, I love myself, these wolves. Shit is awesome. I mean, that's Megas, right? Have you guys not finished this tower yet? <laughs> I killed two full set of like. Oh, I guess I'm like him. I mean, like I don't know. 
I mean, duh, obviously it would kill this shit quicker. Alright, that's barracks. Um... It's fine, we can use the transformation time. Ah! Oh. God damn it! That cleave, man. That cleave is a problem. <sighs> On the upside, I mean, we have Megas, right? That's always good. That's gonna be good. Hey, Borgen Soul. Ooh. Rest in pieces. Well, uh, we do have buybacks, just in case we need them. So we want to be kind of careful. What type of monetization will be in Spark? Um, Spark will be free to play. And chill, okay? Don't freak out. Don't freak out, okay? Chill. Let me finish my sentence before you freak out. There's going to be a weekly hero rotation. But for five bucks, you just get all the heroes. All right? <laughs> Okay? So if you want to be entirely free to play, then you gotta deal with the rotation. But five bucks and you got all of them, okay? <clears throat> uh, but yeah. Oh, and for custom games, of course, there's no rotation or anything like that. You can just play custom games and you got the heroes. <sighs> Five bucks or five bucks per month? Per month. So basically, uh, we, we wrote a blog post. You can find it on uh, the Spark website. All right, just go sparkmoba.net, sparkmoba.com. I think we even have sparkmoba.gg. Just type in sparkmoba and then dot something. You'll get the website. <laughs> um, But uh, basically the way it works is uh, it has the like, usual kind of like in-game currency. You know, you can buy shit in the store, cosmetics and such, right? And then there's basically going to be like Spark Plus, right? It's just kind of like Dota Plus. Except with Spark Plus, what you get is you get access to all heroes. You get access to like weekly tournaments. You get access to like, um, you know, like exclusive skins and all of that stuff and you know like unlike dota plus we're actually gonna update that shit and actually keep it up to date and actually keep putting stuff in there you know you get uh you get uh better statistics all of this nonsense right now you don't have to do it you don't have to use any of that right you can't just play free to play and the thing is if you just play free to play you can ju still just unlock all of the heroes through the free to play normal gameplay like that's totally possible all right absolutely a possibility Oh, you're already dead. Can we get that? Why am I missing so much? He's got a Radiance, what? <laughs> Is that a thing now? Oh, we got him. Hey, we got him. Alright. And the thing is, if you like go, uh, if you if you if you are subscribed, then you still continue earning, you still continue earning currency. So eventually, after you've been subscribed for long enough, you don't have to actually keep going with your subscription. You just buy all of the heroes, and then you got them. I mean, you've just unlocked them all, and then you cancel your subscription. You got all of them, all right? So we're like, hey, look at that. Anyway, I know we got a little bit sidetracked, but I think we also played the game, and I think I had, I, I don't know, I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy. I had a lot of fun as well. That was, uh, that was cool. Kind of showed the mode. I would actually recommend you play it. It's quite interesting. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.